I set out on a narrow way many years ago, hoping I would find true love along the broken road. Hi. Hi. It's oh. us. Oh, and we're about oh. to get killed as yeah, usual. Yeah, somebody's we're trying to pull out of a parking spot. And... Uh, it's not Veterans Day. We're day late. But happy late Veterans Day to all you out there. Um, we're at Denny's. Max just had his free breakfast in the parking lot. There's no parking spaces, so people were trying to kill us to get ours. Uh -huh. Two people are fighting over the one I just pulled out of. So Yeah. Well, like, you know, they were in the military, so they could fight. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's starting to rain. Yeah. Boo hiss. Um, so, anyway, we... Uh, we didn't go anywhere yesterday. It's, it's weird this year. It's the first time, I guess it's... It can be the first time it was on a Monday because we've been no. here 12 years. But for some reason this year, they split half the restaurants and stuff had free meals yesterday, mm -hmm. Sunday. And the other half had them today. So it was kind of confusing. Um, I was just worn out yesterday. Uh, I literally had gone somewhere and done something for nine days straight up till yesterday. I don't know how y'all people do it. I was just exhausted and I didn't want to do what I did. I just wanted to sit in a chair and watch a movie, but I didn't. I, um, I, we, 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 we uh, went through the Christmas gifts. I told you. One of them videos back there that I do have all my Christmas done. Yay! I know, don't hiss and boo at me. I'm an OCD person. So I have to do it early. Um, and everybody has to have, be balanced. You know. Weigh uh, the presents. Yeah. <laughs> so we got everything. Uh, we had been sticking it down uh, on some shelves in the basement. And we got everything out yesterday, uh, especially to the two grandkids. <laughs> The one is one, and the other one's turning three, three. Yeah. in January. So, I, I'm, the three-year-old might... Well, three-year-old's going to be a problem anyway, because everything is mine. Yeah. Mine. Is that's uh, where we got to do the thing where yeah. you give the one-year-old a present, plus, even though it's only his birthday, one's birthday, you have to give the other one something just to distract him from what yeah. you're giving the other uh, one. The one-year-old actually will be one on... Wednesday, uh, I think we're going to celebrate it Thanksgiving. I, I haven't heard anything from the sun, so. Uh, um, but we can't give him a present without giving the one that's going to be three in January something, because I, I, I just don't, you know, I just think that's, I, we just, the one-year-old will get like a big kind of present, and the three-year-old will get a lesser present. Up until the age that uh, they actually understand, it's their actually I'm a grandma. Birthday. They'll probably always get a present age. Uh, uh, I'm actually Yaya. Um, so we sat down yesterday and divvied up everything. And I don't wrap anymore. Everything goes in bags. Oh, tissue paper. Well, with tissue paper, and I had to write names on stuff. And for some strange reason, I kept writing the wrong child's name on the wrong package. And Matt's kept saying, "Why are you doing that?" I don't know. I'm sitting there going, Oliver. Shh, I'm Oliver. supposed to say their names. Oliver. You can't say their names. Oh. George. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter in law has a strict rule that we can't uh, sorry. say anything about them, so you forget that. You didn't hear that. Yeah. That's not one of the names. And then um, she'd start writing the other name. <laughs> yeah. I was I really, really was just tired yesterday. Feel a lot better today and was gonna get out there and list some items and take some pictures and whatever and I got an email that I won some stuff at an auction so guess where we're going we're going to pick up stuff at an auction yeah one down south east west I don't know where's Bedford east we've been to Bedford a lot of times with y'all uh, that's where we went uh, for our vacation yeah. at the lake with the kids and a uh, lot of I uh, have a lot of uh, auctions down there. They have some nice things. Um, I was really, I don't need anything. You know, I had a ton of stuff. So, I was really picky. I, I bid really, really low. 
I thought, well, if I get it, fine. If I don't, fine. So I only got two things. Um, Max's sister collects elephants, and I got a, a Lennox elephant, a uh, Christmas elephant, which I, I actually checked on eBay, and I bid uh, that if I put it on for three times the money that I bid, <clears throat> I can still sell it on eBay. You know, Max hasn't seen it, doesn't know what it is. If he wants it for his sister, he can send it to her. If not, we can make, you know, double our money on it easy. And the other was a jewelry box full of jewelry. jewelry. Yeah. And those are always a crapshoot um, because I didn't preview. Um, you're just looking at pictures. Uh, and I didn't even see, they just had the jewelry box open, the whole, all the pictures. I don't even know what the jewelry box looks like. It could be, you know, one of the trash sheds. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so that'll be something to go through. Um, and, you know, it's kind of like buying off Goodwill or anything else. You just are kind of taking a chance on it. Um, let's see. What else do we do? What did you do? Tell them what you did. What did I do? I have no idea. Uh, I was working on something yesterday. No, you weren't here with me. What did we do? Oh, tell them what you did Saturday, because I already did Saturday. Oh. I did the rescue thing. I Max wasn't with me. Volunteer can... with Guitars for Beths, which is... See, so you uh, should have had the phone place in the other way, because now half your beds cut off. I told you. Thing. And uh, we're getting ready for a gig... On the week from today, no, not a week from today. This coming, what, what day is it? Today's Monday. Tuesday, Monday, the 12th. So, yeah, it's going to be this coming Sunday. And uh, we're doing a practice session with some of the vets who want to play at this, at this gig. And did that, yes, what day is it? Today's Where's Monday, the gig so at? Saturday. It's going to be over at the... Uh, You're pointing like they know. It, well, it's that away. <laughs> it's not at a, any place at the uh, clubhouse for this retirement community. Oh, they do a lot of, uh, you know, uh, assisted, we'll living, assisted and living and, and retirement communities. Speaking and, of him pointing to show you the way, did y'all see the video where Pudgy Picker held the candle out? See, because she picked up a candle at uh, Sabres. She goes, oh, this smells so good. And without yeah. thinking, she put it up to the camera for us to smell. It was hysterical. Yeah. Something like I would do. But anyway, go ahead. And, and then, then you went to... Then I, after that, I went to play with... The, it's a group called the... Uh, oh, you have a name now? Well, yeah, we always have. We always you never told me you had a name? Yeah. It's a... Uh, uh, Middle-aged dads reliving their youth or something like that. And, you never told me you had Yeah, I told you when we were first. So, uh -huh. hey, look at this. Middle-aged dads reliving their youth playing D&D &D or something like that. Now you got me thinking now. I can't remember what the name was. I had to think about it. And now it's, it's, it's like, oh, well. But uh, that's what we did on Saturday night. And then you came home. And, and then I came home and found you collapsed in a chair, sound asleep. Yeah, strange. I will tell you about the time. It took me about 20 minutes to wake her up. I, it was so bizarre because I came home, I got through from the dog volunteer thing. I mean, my dog got adopted. And I wish I could have shown, I was going to show you some of that. But if you'll notice the video before this, that's why I did. It just ends. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I had a fabulous dog and within the first hour of arriving, <laughs> arriving, arriving. Uh, I had three people making applications to get her and she made a I had did a lot of adoptions that day, so I was, I, I, you know, it was just fabulous. It, I don't know if y'all know the black animal rule, but um, for some strange reason, black cats and black dogs have, like, out of 100%, they only have a 10% chance of being adopted, literally because, I don't know, it's like, people don't like black animals. It, it's just stupid. Well, what's wrong with a black animal? Um had the sweetest, sweetest uh, black dog there, uh, and she had given birth to um, a litter, and of course, they had uh, let the puppies, you know, 
nurse off of her, and as soon as they were weaned, they dumped her at the shelter, which is how we got Daisy, and they sold the puppies and kept them. Uh, but, oh, she was a sweetheart, just a sweetheart. Um, and uh, I hope, and they also were doing it yesterday, Sunday, so I hope, I hope somebody took her. Um, and it was a black cat, just loving, the sweetest cat, his name was Leo, and he was solid like just a puffball of fur, um, and, um, no, nobody was just sweet, loving, and cuddly, but, uh, that, that's, I don't know, uh, at least this is a no-kill shelter, um, I can't imagine dealing and working with, um, anything else, and luckily, uh, here in, uh, Roanoke, we have a fabulous shelter. Well, and we have, I'm trying to say, the SPCA. well, no, it's like they work together, a network, that's what I was trying to think of, a network, and like, one will call another and say, listen, we just got, uh, you know, and of course they do the cruelty calls and all that, and I'm like, we just picked up uh, 10 dogs out of a, you know, wherever, and we only have room for four, do you have some room, and one of the other shelters will say, yeah, well, we can take two, and then another shelter will say, okay, well, we can take one, and they get them all, you know, worked in somewhere, um, instead of having to euthanize, you know, some of them, um, yeah, I, I, I just, that means so much to me to be here and to, uh, give my time and volunteer, and I can't do a lot physically, um, I can handle the little dogs, uh, but, like, I can't do any heavy lifting, and, uh, yeah. upset tummy or something going on, and we contribute where we can, but, uh, yeah, oh, I was in heaven, it's, it's killing me not to have another, uh, pet beside Daisy, and I just, my dog I had was Dottie, her name was Dottie, and she and Daisy would have gone like a house on fire, she didn't bark, she was so laid back, she, anybody could pet her, nothing faced her, she didn't care about cats, and some of the other dogs were just, you know, oh my God, shut up, you know, uh, especially the hounds, you know, I think about hounds, um, but, uh, no, it was a nice event, uh, we have a feral, a feral, is it a feral? Feral. Feral. Cat rescue here, um, they were there, uh, and if you don't know about that, they, uh, set traps, and they catch the cats, and they spay and neuter them, and they snip their ears so if they ever get caught again they'll already know they've been spayed or neutered and um, then they release them back to the wild because there's just not enough people who adopt cats um i'm not sure oh buzzer buzzer We're, we live in the mountains um um it's coming out it's getting hot it's really it's really cold it's like 41 um but uh what was I saying? Uh, oh, feral cats. Feral cats. Uh, yeah, there's, they probably had, oh my lord, 30 or more cats there Saturday, and I think I saw one got adopted. I don't know what it is, but anyway, um, they figure that's better to catch them and do that than just let them roam around and, uh, you know, keep reproducing and reproducing and reproducing, so, um, then they had Angels of Assisi, which is also, a, that's where we get Daisy from. Uh, it's a fabulous no-kill shelter. Um, and uh, there's a dead a dog. I mean, I'm what? Uh, deer. Uh, that's what I hate to say. Um, and they have their own in-house veterinarian, which Franklin County does too. And that works out great because they'll have things like um, $15 spay or neuter. Uh, you know, $15 rabies vaccine or whatever their yearly vaccines and stuff. So people would even say, oh, well, I can't afford it. They really, really try to get the animals taken care of. Um, oh, Greyhound Rescue, which 
I've always thought that was beautiful, beautiful dogs. Um, but they uh, need a lot of exercise. So there's not, but they had some of those there, and they were just, oh my God, those dogs are stunning. Um, and let's see who else. It seems like there's somebody else. There's more than that there. I don't know. I just people were asking me questions about, uh, you know. I mean, I was sitting by the bird guinea pig and the hamster cases and stuff but people were like asking me things about the birds and the guinea pigs like I knew anything you know it's yellow he's furry yeah um uh, oh and then um uh, saying something about leaving there oh when I left that's what it was when I left there excuse me train went off the track um I went to Walmart get some shopping and ran through McDonald's, grabbed a burger because I hadn't eaten since breakfast. And I got home and uh, sat down, started watching something on TV, and ate my burger. And the last thing I remember is eating my burger. And I had the TV on. I don't remember what I was watching. I don't remember, like, getting up and throwing my paper and stuff and all that away or whatever but Max says when he came home from the and that, that was like right at six o'clock so what, what time did you come in eight o'clock came in at eight o'clock and he said I was out and the TV was off yeah turned off the TV and all the trash was gone all the trash was taken unless Daisy took care of that I don't know it's weird and he came in and I, 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 you shook my leg didn't you oh I <laughs> shook your leg shook your arm Woke you a few times, made a lot of noise coming in, and she was just out to the road. I was out. I guess that says that, yeah, I needed some sleep. Uh, it was just, a busy day. Yeah, well, Man, I, I just sat, but um, like I say, I've been running straight for nine days, so. Uh, but yeah, it was weird. I hate it when I do that. Because see, now, I don't remember what I was watching. And I'm sure if I, I, I didn't finish whatever it was, and if it was something I wouldn't have watched it if I didn't want to see it. So now it's like, well, what did I want to see that I didn't get to watch? Uh, anyway, I'm getting so old. It really is. Max is going to be doing YouTubes from the home soon. Uh, what else do you want to say? I said Happy Veterans Day. You know, Max was saying, I'm sure we've mentioned it 50 times, but. He was in the Marines for 20 years. Simple pie. Simple pie. Uh, I got him after that. I had trained him. And, uh, yeah. You know, it's like the, they, you know, they, yeah. the, you know the, they train the police dogs and stuff, and then they give them to the handlers. Well, that's kind of what happened. They, they trained him, and then they gave him to the handler, which is me. Um, and uh, he does work for reports. Good boy. Good boy. will beg if I have a the treat in my hand. Yep. Yeah. And he usually eats half my food when we're out at restaurants because I can never finish it. He just, I had a, he got the Grand Slam because that's all he did. He offers you for free veteran. But I got an omelet which was excellent. It had spinach and grilled onions and Swiss cheese. And uh, turkey bacon. Oh yeah, turkey bacon. Um, really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, last time we went there, Oh, and uh, the, the leaves pretty much have fallen down here. Uh, like I said, we've got a cold snap. What was that? That was two days ago. Three no, days ago. the thing that just popped down and said the message. Oh, there was? Oh, yeah. I was? I was watching the road. Um, I wasn't watching that. We don't. We're horrible. Don't text us ever in your life. You'll never hear from us again. Uh, I think it said WDBJ7. It said in the higher elevations there's oh. going to be... Um, Flurries. Flurries. Uh, okay. We don't live in the higher elevations for that very reason. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the leaves are kind of gone. It's kind of bare now. Uh, oh, we were talking about, we, we just rattled them. We were talking about the packages and stuff for uh, getting them all done. So they're done. I realized I get, I'm getting my bridge players. My bridge players? My bridge players. They're all yours. Um, 
a deck of cards with their, name. with their names on them. Uh, I got it from Zazzle. They got some really pretty ones, really interesting, really manly ones too. Um, and I'm putting them in little bitty gift bags and I'm putting some you know chocolates in there with them. And so went through all the names of the group and realized I was three decks short. I was kind of like it. A little, a little short. A little yeah. low, it? Um, but we've had a couple. I ordered these. As I say, I'm very OCD. So I ordered these probably a month or so ago. We've and had we, those for almost two months now. Yeah, and then these people had the nerve. These three people had the nerve to come and join since then. Yeah. So I had to go and Why order them three more decks for these people. Now, Max and I vowed yesterday that if anybody else comes and joins in the meantime, they, get, well, we they might, don't get we, no... We'll go to the basement and get one of the used decks of cars and go down there. And yeah, they just will get a bicycle deck. Yeah. We can't come. And we'll throw some candy in a Ziploc and give it to them. I'll yeah. Get them to you know, That's it. Uh, and then we were short... Well, we were short a birthday bag. Because we bought all of the toys that we had, we had to have a two birthday in November and two birthday in January, which is the other one's birthday. Yeah. So we decided what's going to be what, 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 what. And bags and stuff. And we had to go dig in our bin of ribbon, ribbons and tags, wrapping, tissue, wrapping tissue, tissue, bags, tissue. all that. Uh, I thought I was going to have to go buy uh, another birthday bag, but thankfully we uh -huh. found something that will work. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, uh, I always do advent calendars too. I, I started with my son. Yeah. Oh, and on the birthday gazette was that one that required assembly. And I like the way it was labeled on the box. You know, normally you see some assembly required. Yeah. This one said some adult assembly required. <laughs> they didn't Who's want. Whose birthday? Yeah. Whose? The plane, the airplane. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Max put that together. But yeah, we try. If it's gotta have batteries, we make sure it's already got batteries. But there's nothing worse than a kid opening a package and then parents taking 20, 30 minutes to put it together because they're like, ah, ah, ah. you know. So we make sure everything we take to them, they literally can just take it and start playing with it. Yeah. Um, you don't forget where I was at. Uh, you were going. Uh, I'm going to Jackson. Yeah, the, the van has a permanent mount on it. 
but we didn't name the van for one jewelry box and one elephant. Well, I guess it depends on the size of the elephant, huh? Well, yeah, it wouldn't very much make a difference. Um, but even this little car can hold a lot. Yeah, we've had this thing packed to the rafters all evening. about the new what everybody's doing with the jewelry it's like going everywhere we tried the sunday auctions and man they were you know successful we were selling about half what we put on and then of course you got the live auctions the only thing i have about those is they're so long and i'm sorry to everybody out there who does them but um i just have a real hard time and i know some people probably do other things while they're watching them, but I can't chew gum and walk, so I have a problem with that. Um, and then I know Tanya has posted um, a sale page separate from uh, Thrifty Jewelry Treasures, and I heard her say that's not going so, you know, as what she had hoped it would be. Uh, honestly, I will tell you, I'm a very honest person. I looked on there, and most of the stuff I saw was, I thought was priced. I mean, it may be perfectly fine for what it is, but um, I thought it was high. You know, I mean, there was some $45 and $65 and, you know, pieces on there. And uh, some of them didn't even include shipping, so... on Monday nights at the VA um, so I have started watching um, Bougie and Geisha's Monday night auction and I am able to do that at my desk and do some other stuff while I'm doing it um, is it that way or is it this way All right, let me get the map up <laughs> no, I'm confused. This we're on Woodhaven what are we looking for I'm trying to figure out we're looking for Windy Ridge lost. Oh yeah, Woodhaven. Yeah, we stay on Woodhaven. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I, yeah, I'm just um, really confused. I mean, I'm still listing jewelry on eBay too. Um, not selling, I don't, I can't remember the last time I sold a piece of jewelry. Uh, we just, uh, last week we sold a piece of jewelry. What did we sell? Um, uh, Cute. I didn't notice. Uh, I knew his trunk was up, but he's holding a little bell in it. It's cute, cute, cute. Yeah. Cute, cute, cute. And it's rainy. So the jewelry uh, chest was in the back. I didn't really look even look at it. Uh, Just sitting there. Max there. ran in and got the stuff. Yeah, the chest is in a really good condition. It's a big chunk out of it, about oh, an inch okay. and a half long and mm -hmm. about a quarter inch wide. That's not a big chip out of it. But okay. that's not what you're really buying no. anyway. You're getting the jewelry. Usually, if you get a good jewelry chest and it's in good shape, that's just a bonus. Uh, um, most people don't want to pay to ship them unless they're like really uh, some of the really old ones that were really, uh, really, really, really 
uh, that were a solid wood and yep. that kind of thing. So yeah, most of the ones from the uh, 70s and forward are not worth messing with. Um, so another yeah, adventure. Gotta go for the next turn to get across the other side of the highway. So yeah, this looks like one of those development. They're developing. Um, yeah, they get all the little stubs of roads going off to our that direction. And yeah, this area, they um, to grow. were saying that um, instead of everybody is not going to Florida, well, everybody wasn't going to Florida. It's the Army Reserve Center over there. Oh, is that? Yeah. That real big complex. Is that where I got to go get my ID? No, no, no. this is the Bedford. We got to go to the uh, Navy Marine Corps Reserve Center oh. up in uh, Roanoke by the airport. But anyway, um, people are going away. I don't. I'm not putting this properly. Not so many people are re retiring to Florida now. People from uh, like up in the Northeast. That um, with the hurricanes and if you ever lived on the Gulf Coast, yes, uh, you will know. Yes, it doesn't snow in the summer or in the winter. It doesn't snow in the summer. It doesn't snow in the winter. But it's also hot as Hades a good nine months of the year. And the humidity is 90%. So that's not fun either. So people are looking for uh, kind of a happy medium. And for people who are coming to, from 15, 20, 25 foot of snow, we may get, what, two here? Not uh, a bad year, we'll get two feet. Yeah. So, like, from here, uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, down the Georgia coast, they're kind of looking in those areas. Uh, I know a ton of people, I'll meet them and, uh, you know, we're, you, know you can tell, we're, we're their accents. Uh, where are you originally from and, uh, you know, how did you wind up here? And they all retired here uh, because they liked it so much. So, and that's kind of, we... We're not, well, Max isn't retired yet. I didn't well, retire. I retired once. I just, I just quit working. Gotta, I just quit working. Yeah. I, didn't, well, I, I don't I'm get money ready. for not working. I'm working towards my second retirement. Yeah. I, I never retired at all. I just kept quitting working. Yeah. They don't pay me for that. Isn't that amazing? Eventually um, they will. Sure. You'll get your $12 a month for yeah. Social Security until that runs out. Gover uh, government spends Social Security away. Yeah, we wanted to be close to my son, uh, but at the time we moved up here, he was living in a suburb of D.C., yeah. and we did not want to go anywhere near This, near this is about as close to D.C. Well, we, we said four hours. A four-hour yeah. drive yeah. so we could get there in a day. Uh, yeah. And we looked, we really looked, we looked all over. We looked to West Virginia. We actually went down into North Carolina. Uh, we looked at a bunch of cities in yeah. uh, Virginia. Um, we were familiar with growing up because my son got his bachelor's degree at Roanoke College. And we'd come here, you know, like family weekends and things like that. Um, and at the time, uh, what was it you needed for work? Gotta have high speed internet access. Yeah, and all the places we were looking didn't have it. Um, so we saw some beautiful homes. And a, a lot couple. of great places we looked at, but. Then we'd ask about internet service. They sit there and they kind of chuckle and says, "Well, yeah, yeah, you can get it. Dial up, <laughs> dial up." And, and no, no. So we, uh, growing up being a college town, there's actually well, there's Roanoke College, and then you've got Holland University, which is close to here, and then you've got um, Radford University, yeah, which, is, which uh, is close to here. So they and there's had also the one in uh, the. Christiansburg, uh, Liberty. No, Liberty's uh, out here, but uh, UVA University. Oh, of Virginia. oh that's just too far. That wouldn't have it. But anyway, well, Radford's on the other side of that. So oh, I don't. There's there's tons of colleges. They, yeah, you know, all the all University right. of Virginia. My daughter-in-law went there. Got her bachelor's there. Uh, uh, Virginia Tech. Go yeah. Hoos. Uh, you can't you know go two miles without running to a college up here. But yeah, Roanoke was the only place that had uh, high-speed internet, so then we had to start 
narrowing our search down. So, uh, we only looked at 62 houses. That's all? Uh -huh. I thought it felt like more. Well, I had pneumonia, so that that's probably... That's what, yeah, that's yeah. why you had pneumonia. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. And I'm not kidding when I said we looked at 62 houses. We did. We looked at 62 houses. Yeah, and that, the realtor we had, he was... Saint. He had to be. He, he, he quit. He, he should be going for sainthood. No? He quit. Oh yeah, he quit after. He quit real estate. I'm not kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't know it at the time. But I had been working in a building in uh, Louisiana with black mold. Yeah. And so I kept having a sinus infection that just would not go away. And um, then that went to pneumonia. And they're, I mean, I'm, they're just popping stuff, you know, take this, take this, take this, take this. And I just could not get rid of it. And we, this was after Katrina, we started having the repairs to our house. We had about $35,000 worth of damage under our house. And we started the repairs and our real estate agent was driving us nuts to list the house. And we wanted to wait until after all the repairs were done because there was workmen everywhere and yeah. the stuff was going to have to be painted and all that kind of stuff. And she kept saying, oh, go ahead and list it, go ahead and list it, whatever. And finally she just drove us nuts and we said, okay, you know, but I've got to understand that we've got to find a place and the work, you know, the repairs have got to be done or whatever. So first day. Yeah. Well, it was listed at 8 in the morning. By two in the afternoon, the house sold. Yeah, and then we had 30 days to find a place to live. Yeah. So we came up here and lived in one of those extend stay places, um, and looked and looked and looked. And I mean, I literally, I was so sick. Um, we would get in. Max would get. He had like an SUV, the real estate guy, and he and Max would get in the front, and I'd get in the back. And between houses, I'd fall asleep. Yep. Yeah, and Max would, or pass out, I'm not sure which it was. And then they, we'd get to the house and Max would, like, you know, wake me up and we'd go and look around and uh, just nothing. I mean, well, and we, we also wanted a VA loan, which I don't know if you've ever had a VA loan, but they're really, really sticklers about uh, condition house condition houses. And some we liked, but we knew they wouldn't approve. Um, some. We didn't lie. I mean, it was just, like I say, so the uh, real estate agent finally said, well, we've got one, we were at the point of maybe having to rent either an apartment or a house, which I was screaming, no, please, no, I do not want to move, and then two months later have to turn around and move again, if you've ever done that. Uh, he said, I've got one more place, and they literally are finishing it today. Uh, we can look at it, and if not, then I'll start showing you rent houses. So we drove up, walked in the front door, and went, we'll take it. Exactly. And they literally finished it, and... They finished, it was a brand new house, they finished it the day before. Yeah, but it had no landscaping. Yeah. And the guy said, well, we, we're going to come back and do the landscaping. Uh, and we're like, fine, you know. And it, we really... I mean, we liked the house, but we weren't considering us getting old and having to deal with steps and stuff. And it's not a problem right now, but it will be in the next five to ten years. Yeah. Maybe not for Max, but for me, it will be. Um, so, the thing, that's what I was talking about, the little lots of stuff. They were, they were just building tons and tons and tons of um, little garden homes. Uh, assisted living facilities that um, they have different ranks as to how much care you need and they have you can live on your own in a little cottage uh, and then you go up where maybe a nurse will come by once a day to make sure your you know your pills are all ready and you've eaten or you're gonna eat or whatever and then the next is kind of nursing care but you still can get up and get around and go to the movies and whatever events they have, you know, they go and all that. And then the last, of course, is the, um, the actual nursing home. Yeah, the actual nursing home where you kind of need round-the-clock care. Uh, but yeah, those are just, 
every corner here is they're cropping up. And they're really, really nice. I mean, let's face it, but the problem with those, the uh, low end on those is $250,000. And you don't own it. Um, and number one, we don't have $250,000. And number two, we don't want to pay that kind of money for something that if we if something happens we die that's it it's gone yeah you know. there, there's no return to whoever survives or yeah i mean we're very very children. fortunate my son and daughter-in-law uh, both are very successful and they don't need it but i just have a real problem with uh getting nothing back for you know my return so we're not quite sure what we're going to do uh, and we've been looking just kind of glancing around to see what there is at ranch houses and I will tell you when you live in the mountains there ain't no ranch houses well technically our house is a ranch house yeah but it's set into the side of a hill so you have to have steps to get up to the yeah. to our, it's 15, you know? 15 steps to the front door that's yeah. not a ranch house we had a ranch house in uh, Baton Rouge that's what we had yeah uh, I wish we could have just moved the whole thing up here uh, the other option, of course, is buying land and, and putting uh, like a double lot or something on yeah. it. A modular home. A modular home, yeah. That's we what they we don't want to be trailer trash. We'll be in a modular home. Um, but then again, that you've got to get land that they will allow a modular home on. Yeah. And you've got yeah. to have uh, yeah. sewer and lights and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So. It's not like in Louisiana where you buy a lot and you can put anything you want on it. They, they, yeah. they got zoning, this thing called zoning laws here. And yeah, you got a mansion with a double wide beside it in Louisiana. But, uh, yeah, so we're kind of, kind of been just looking around and seeing what's out there or whatever. But, uh, yeah. you know, uh, a mother in law. If we could find somebody who had a mother-in-law suite on their house that was ground floor, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Any of y'all out there, you know, have a mother-in-law suite and want to rent it out to two nice, kind old people? We're it's looking. Us. Yeah, we're looking. But we really, well, I don't know. I mean, we're getting to the point where it's really not to our advantage to buy another place. It'd actually be better to us for us to rent. I don't know. You know I've been thinking about that too. Yes, yeah, you know my my point, and I was talking to somebody about this. I said, "What idiot is going to give a seventy year old a thirty year mortgage?" Yeah. And they were saying you and everybody will do it, and I'm like, "Well, that's just stupid." You know, I mean, I I, I just don't. You know, I guess they figure you you have to your whoever gets it will have to sell it and pay off the rest of the mortgage or whatever, but. Uh, I just think that's really a goofy thing to give a 70 year old person a 30 year mortgage. I don't know. What do I know? Yeah. I've been working know. several times without any pension, so. Yeah. Max saved me from homelessness. Yeah. And, well, even, I started to say sicklessness, but that's not the right word. Yeah. From being without health insurance. Yeah. Healthless? Yeah, helpless. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. Well, one of the things when we first moved up here, after we got our house, we moved up here and she went to sleep for six months. Now, that's, that's, what, you, that's what you get with black mold. Let me tell you a symptom of black mold. You pass the out and people aren't sure if you're going to wake up again. Um, yeah. She I, woke up about six months later and she was great. I really, 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 I didn't. I had no idea how sick I was when I moved up here. Uh, I just thought, I hate Louisiana. I'm sorry, people, if y'all live in Louisiana. I really am. I lived there 22 years, and I went there kicking and screaming the first day, and I left jumping for joy the last day. Never liked it. The people are fabulous. I made some of my best Great friends people. I ever yeah. had. Had some of the best food. But everything else about the state, the weather, the politics, uh, the traffic, y'all can keep it. Uh, yeah. you know. Great place to visit. Lots of interesting I, sites I, to see there, but live there, no. But, uh, yeah, I, 
I, I just, I keep thinking if we hadn't left, what would have happened to me? I really do. Because um, I, I did, like I said, I did not realize how sick I was till we got up here. And he literally is right. I got up in the morning from bed and went to the living room and went to sleep again on the couch. <laughs> his phone? Oh, we would have had him three months ago. Oh, yeah. My phone will do the weirdest things. What the, see, I, I'm technically, I know I'm not technically challenged. She's, she has uh, anti-technology field that surrounds her. Yeah. And anything technology that gets near her malfunctions. Yeah, this is true. And people, I will say, I will say to him, I will say to my son, I used to say to my bosses when I work, uh, this is doing this, and I don't know why, and they come look at it and stare for about 10 minutes and go, that can't do that. And I'm like, well, it is. She'll be trying to do something on her phone. It's not working at all. Hands the phone to me, and as soon as she lets go of the phone and I have it, it starts working fine. No. And a back door, guess what? <laughs> and my son's the funniest one, though. I'll say, I want my phone to do this. Show me how. And he'll just go, you don't need to learn how to do that here, and <laughs> give it back to me. <laughs> He's probably the most technically literate of all of us. He's, his whole house is hooked up to one of them systems, you know? He can just talk and think Yeah, he talks to it and it does what he wants, which you know, like, turn the lights on, turn the music on, turn the TV on channel three, da 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 da, da. I mean, the whole house. Turn the heat up, da 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 da, turn the heat down, da 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 da. Um, talk to my house. Uh, well, yeah, and it's got, um, you know, it's got indoor and outdoor surveillance that oh, yeah. they can, he works from home, which is, but I mean, still, if they're gone somewhere and something triggers, I don't know how that works, because they have a dog. I guess they can just look and see if it's the dog. Yeah. If something triggers a motion detector, and they may put the dog, like, in the mudroom or something when they're gone, too, probably. Um, that they can look and say, oh, there's a burglar in the house, you know, or whatever. But, yeah, a couple of weeks, three weeks ago, they got a bear on their uh, back patio and yep. watched it the whole... Well, I mean, they didn't know it until the next day, uh, which I don't know how... I guess they have children that keep them awake a lot of times, so they slept through it. But he was moving the big stuff around and riding the kid's bicycle and just he tore a bird feeder. Literally, I'm in a hefty iron pole bird feeder in half, carted it off Bro to the broke woods. Broke the pole off and carried the rest of it off to the yeah, woods. Yeah, they slept through the whole thing. Yeah. Anyway, but um, I kind of want one of those, but Max says I can't have one of those because then I just sit there and watch the tape all day long looking for cute critters that are in the night. Yeah. Because I, I love to see our deer and our bunnies and our, even the groundhogs. I know people, I'm supposed to hate things like that, but I just think they're cute. We don't have them. We didn't have them in we, have no, we didn't have, we had nutria in Louisiana. Yeah, it had squirrels and The nutria would have eaten the groundhogs. Yeah, nutria, yeah. They, nutria, we never said the nutria, little, look it up. Yeah. They some ugly, 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 ugly and ugly. vicious and little it, monsters. I mean, they're a little bit bigger than the groundhog, would you say, or maybe a beaver? They're about the size of a beaver. But you don't want to hit one with your car. Because it would total your car, I swear to God. They are the... I was going to say, if you don't watch uh, Tam's Place, T like Tom, A-M-S Place, she does some uh, great haul videos, and she has an antique booth, and she's just a sweetheart. Um, she did a video on getting a storage unit and for her backyard, and it was really, really interesting, because we had been talking, talking about, about it, it yeah. and uh, she literally showed it from the time they delivered it to they... Uh, set it down and everything, and I asked her a few questions about uh, 
the um, that thing that goes on the Fun, bottom. Yeah, the spun, not foundation. Yeah, the well, they call it the foundation. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, uh, and but yeah, it's a really good video. If you don't follow her, watch a couple of her videos. You might like to. She's really nice. And if you're interested in maybe getting a storage building for your um, yard, watch that one. It, it's really uh, good. I really liked it. Uh, any, who, anybody else we've watched lately? Oh, um, I started watching, I can't think of it. Real Nifty something. He's good. Um, we, I, I actually, I watch YouTube and I watch a lot of YouTube, but I may not watch it when it's going on, and I may not comment. I'm kind of a lurker. Uh, you know, I may go in and give you a thumbs up or something, or if there's something, I will look, like I'll watch it two or three days later, and you ask a question or something in the video, I do look down and see if anybody told you the answer, but some answer I know. And most of the time, somebody's already told you what it is. Um, so, uh, Scott's something. I, I recommended him on something. He's, he's very, very knowledgeable. Um, I can't think. I, I'm horrible with names. I really am. Um, it's really starting to rain here. I hate rain. I mean, I, I just don't understand why it just can't rain at night when nobody's out doing stuff. You know, just while I'm in bed sleeping, let it rain down. And by the time I get up the next morning, let it stop. I don't understand. We get all the water and stuff we need. Not to mention, I mentioned in the last video, I know everybody said this, we have already gone over our water limit for the year, and it's well, November the, the 12th. More rain than what we normally would get in a year. We broke a record. Yeah, we broke a the record. The record for the, the most, in the history. In the history, the, since they started recording a lot of rain here. It's and the it's most still raining. Ever. Yeah. Rain it right now? Uh, you could just send it to California. They desperately, they, desperately need it. They could use some water to put out the fires. Yeah, uh, those poor people. Those poor, poor people. Uh, just, yeah. Can you just, like, what do you, you just do nothing. Talk. Say something. I'm sorry. I'm driving. I'm paying attention to what's going on around me. Yeah. I can do both. Yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not multi-talented like you are. Even though I do swerve all over the road. Here we gotta go to We're going to Kroger. Uh, yeah. Get drugs. Yeah. Get some drugs. And I have a addiction, and I will admit it. Archway makes these oh, little yeah. bitty gingerbread men that have yep. ice on them. They're iced on them. Icing. It's not icing. It's really I don't know. But it's the only time of year you can get them. And I love those little things. Oh God, I love those little things. So, I bought two bags, and now I'm having fear that they will not be able to find anymore before they stop making them, and I can get me so I, They're good for, like, way into 2019, so I don't know why I just didn't buy more. But, yeah. Oh, and if you like chocolate, the... Not the little round ones. The Lint. Is that Lint? L -I -N. Oh, Lint. L I N D T or whatever. Uh, yeah, uh, the little like truffle things. Yeah. Um, first time I've ever seen. I may have had them before, but the first time I've seen them this ever. They have gingerbread. We haven't. We didn't eat one, did we? Not yet. We haven't had no, one. No. So yet. I bought some of those to try. Uh, that sounded interesting. Noisy wipers. And then Hershey Kisses this year has a new flavor we've never seen before. Hot cocoa. Yeah. And, and it, we it's... thought it was just going to taste like the milk chocolate. We yeah. were like, mm, we'll see about this. It does taste like hot, hot cocoa. cocoa. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. So if you like cocoa, yeah. We were we were testing out all the candy we were giving the bridge well, players in their little bags. We well, had to make sure. We, we, we distributed evenly among all the bags. And once we distributed them evenly among the bags, there was leftovers. And well, you know, you just don't throw them away or anything, do you? Yeah. You got to do something with them. The leftovers. So we eat them. Yeah. That was a non-lacable thing to do. Yeah. No waste. 
and um, yeah, Friday night is treat night. It's kind of we're so boring, but we love live PD. Love it. Yeah. It just amazes us how Max loves to call the dogs or don't praise, praise the dogs. Praise the dogs. Um, it's amazing to us what people call 911 for. We just are waiting for the next, you know, I mean, it's it's just amazing. Things that we would never, I mean, who would think that you'd call 911 for that? It's just, uh, and then we used to, we were watching, um, oh, what's that show? The one with the ambulances. Oh, uh, Night Watch? Oh, yeah. That, and that's another one that they call 911. I got a splinter. We what? I got a splinter. Can you get it out? That God you... bless the broken road that led me straight to you.